Hi everybody, Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back. And to everybody new, hello and welcome. So it's almost Mother's Day. And I am changing some babies to take some photo shoots because I just love something I enjoy doing. So I thought that I would bring these two little bubs and change them on camera with you all um, because Sunday is Mother's Day and these are the two babies. Well, I painted three, but the two babies that I am sharing um, that I have so far reborn myself. Um, so to those of you new, this is Sabian and Sabian is the Pip Sculpt by Sophie. I'm sorry, folks, to everybody that normally watches my videos that's been with my channel. I must have started how many videos now by yelling at Sophie. I don't know why the cat does this. <laughs> Every time I start a video, she was scratching the banister. Anyways, sorry about that, folks. So, this is Sabian. He is the Pip Sculpt by Cassie Brace. He's a preemie baby. And I completed him, has it been, I don't know. I don't even think it's been two months yet. I'm just going to start with him. hope I brought everything over that I needed for both the boys. And then this little guy is the Stanley Oliver Sculpt by Chenza Dolls. And I just finished him, I think, last week. And he's a little um, Down Syndrome baby. I just love, I love the way both of these babies came out. He, This was the first baby that I painted, Sabian. Is the very first reborn that I completed, and then um, Stanley um, Elliot. I'm sorry, this his name is Elliot. Um, he is the third. There's a baby in between that, like I'm just calling a practice baby because it was a sculpt that I got on sale that I just wanted to do a complete run through to practice. So my members have seen that baby because I did comp finish the baby and, and root her and all that. Um, uh, so if you're wondering about that, <laughs> my channel does have a membership. So if you'd like to support my channel and come on in behind the scenes, take part in my exclusive live streams and other perks, it's $1.99 a month. That's all inclusive. You can cancel at any time. You must be 18 years or older to join. But for less than or about the price of one cup of coffee a month, come on in. There's lots going on in there. I'm sharing my whole journey in um, painting in there. And um, it's just a nice crowd. Um, but eventually, usually all babies get shared out here in my whole collection. So there's all kinds of videos. And um, so make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. All right. So I got that whole spiel out. And we're going to take a look. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, sweeties. Oh, I just... I love that I painted these boys to like my exact, like what I wanted for the, these sculpts and the, you know, like the style, like for Sabian being a preemie, you know, he's just very like rashy and blotchy and red and I don't know. It's just what I love and. I I think I say this a lot, but I guess I was kind of surprised that, you know, I didn't expect that I was going to um, want to have in my collection or fall, like, that much in love with, like, the first, you know, any babies that I would paint starting out because, you know you'd think starting out, it's, <laughs> you know, sometimes can 
can be difficult, but I think that being in the hobby for a few years first and always intending on painting gave me an advantage because I was always like kind of quote studying. Um, so, you know, I was taking in all that information. So you're going to get your diaper change because this one's going to go on your brother Oscar. And let me see how I lined. Okay, I'm just check. Because I just opened this one. These are the amazing baby diapers by Amazon. And I'm just opening this new one here. And see him. Yeah, I think I just gave him this one liner in here because you there's a couple liners or they call them boosters, which is so nice because then you can choose what you want to give as little or as much bulk, uh, you know, as you want. Um, so anyway, I am definitely enjoying these diapers and I've had many of you tell me that you've now gotten them and love them as well. So I know some of you all don't um, because my friend that had had them for um, a long while, um, she had shared them and she didn't care for them. And she actually has the same silicone sculpt as me. And, uh, you know, she wasn't, it wasn't like her favorite diaper. Um, so, you know, we all like different things. So, oh, I like this one. This one's like a, this one's a, a muslin, and this one's just like a soft organic cotton. Oh, I really love this one. It's a different um, material. Huh. So, then this one. That's interesting. So, it's almost Mother's Day. Um, so, in case I don't get back on, which I do want to come back on with Oscar, but in case I don't. Um, I certainly want to wish all you amazing moms out there a happy Mother's Day. Um, all you moms, all you aunties and godparents, and I feel like, oh, he has the heartbeat. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I feel like, you know, even if you, you, we don't have kids, you're, we're still mothers by nature, even if we mother our friends, you know. Um, I do have four children that I'll be, you know, celebrating Mother's Day for. And I am um, so blessed to still have my mom with me, my mom and my dad. Um, so we'll be going to my parents on Sunday. Um, so I just really enjoy spending time you know time with my family um family is so so important but I thought I'd talk about the reborn babies as well and I'm just putting on Sabian um this is new I didn't put this on him yet um a loved baby it's a uh, long sleeve and it's their preemie newborn size in their seafoam green so um you know, as as doll collectors, many of us here refer to ourselves as reborn mommies or silicone mommies, you know, to the dolls for role play. And, you know, it really, I feel like these babies, like, when I first got, you know, my first reborns and you know, when I first had a few special ones come in and shared like a first box opening, that was like the Twinkies. I mean, the tears, of course, you know, come. I don't cry as much these days. Well, I haven't had as many box opening these days, but I cried a lot in the beginning because it just pulls such emotions because, you know, they look like babies, they feel like babies. Just looking at the sculpting and their tiny little hands and, you know, their features. It's just all like, you know, um, you know, it just kicks those maternal instincts, you know, into overdrive. Um, I feel like anyway, like they're tiny, you know, especially on the little ones, their tiny little knees, the way they're sculpted and, and their feet. Like I just remember even 
pregnant and feeling those little tiny knees sticking out and those little, you know, feet <laughs> kicking and the little elbows moving around. And I, you know, it just brings back, they bring back such amazing, you know, memories. And then I, I've, I definitely have heard, you know, of reborn mommy speak um, that don't have children um, that perhaps, you know, are, are not able to, you know, have bile, you know, have carry children. And they describe having reborns as no, of course, it doesn't replace, they don't replace a child. They're not, it's not like a living baby. And, you know, we all you know, recognize that and know that, but, um, like I'll never forget the, um, you know, the guardians interview. Um, now so any of you new that haven't seen that, um, a couple of our fellow, um, collectors here in the reborn community, as well as an artist were interviewed for, um, um, uh, magazine and I, they have like a YouTube channel. It's called the guardian. Um, you can look up the, the interview. I believe it's, um, I'll stick a link down below. I believe it's, um, uh, uh, women who care for life like dolls or something like that, but I'll put a link. So one of the, the three, you know, ladies that were interviewed or four because um uh stephanie and jackie were you know interviewed so it was technically four but three families um uh was my dear friend kelly at kelly girl and then um and then the artist that was interviewed artists was um stephanie and jackie from end love what reborns 2011 and then the other person that was interviewed, her name was Lucinda, and um, I apologize, I don't know her, like, channel name and stuff. I had never, like, met her, well, you know what I mean, like, seen her um, until that interview. But um, when she said, um, and she obviously openly shared her, her, her story, um, you know, about not having children, not, you know, knowing that or finding out that she wasn't going to be able to have children and, you know, how her whole world, you know, kind of came tumbling down. And, you know, when she came across the dolls, like they, they give her, you know, yes, of course, she knows that they're not children. Like I'm saying, we all know that, you know, they're definitely not babies and can't replace a child. However, you know, she goes out with her reborns and, you know, has the stroller. And she's, what struck me the most in that was when she said, when I pass by a baby store, um, it used to make me so sad. And she said, now when I pass by, I have a reason to go in there because, you know, she goes to pick out cute little outfits for the reborn. So it's that hit home. I was like, yes, you know, because we even, even, you know, ladies that have children, I know personally for me, like, you know, my kids are, you know, well, some of them are adults, you know, my son's now in his teens and I miss that, you know, so, um, it, 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 in a certain way, um, pacifies that baby fever <laughs> for those of the us that have those really, really, really strong, um, maternal feelings that doesn't necessarily just go away when your kids get older or that go that goes away if you don't have children and that sort of thing. Um, you know, with some of us, I think, and I believe that it's those of us that really just love babies, you know, that have always loved dolls and just really, really are like baby people. Um, you know, pretty much everybody that you talk to or that shares and have chat has channels like 
we all have this common link where we're all like, you know, I did a ton of babysitting when I was a child and anytime I could hold a baby I wanted to and you know I always loved dolls and we all almost every single one of us connect in that those you know stories about how we've always felt about um real babies about dolls about children um and that ties us, you know, all together as moms, no matter how you slice the cake, I think. So I just think that, you know, I just, like I said, I just figured I would talk about that because, you know, we get to play and be, you know, <laughs> reborn um, and silicone mommies and daddies here uh, in in our, you know, fun way because yes it is perfectly fine like you know growing up you know it's like you get to a certain age I know like as a girl and like socially it's like all of a sudden you're too old to play with dolls like it's unacceptable um you know but I think that that's changed or should be changed or we really just shouldn't think about that. I did my own thing. I've shared with you all many times that <laughs> I just kept on with my dolls. And um, at the older I got, you know, the nicer dolls that I had and got my hands on baby clothes and, you know, cool accessories and things. And, you know, and I was not, it wasn't like a, an immaturity thing or developmentally behind or anything of that nature because I was way ahead of myself at like that. Like, you know, I had my boyfriends carrying around the dolls in school and stuff. And honestly, I think I kind of really did have baby fever as a teenager. Um, so I think the dolls are something um that's nice for that baby fever I would definitely recommend um you know any teens that love babies and dolls and I know we have many here in the community and uh young uh women that have channels here and all that and I just think that's absolutely fabulous because you know you don't want to have kids go in and having um babies before they are um prepared in life so i think that you know this could definitely be a very nice you know distraction and just you know not that it takes away the desire to have children but it it certainly i feel like it just curbs and it feeds that fever look at this way can you all see i hope you all can see because i don't have the camera turned let me just see when I'm holding them up here, let me see if I can look in the camera and I'm sorry, I got them by the neck. No, you can't. See, that's why I was, <laughs> I was looking. His little head's cut off. Let's move little Sabian. Oh my goodness. You look so sweet. And there's his little heart going on. Look at him. Can y'all see Sabian back there? Look at him. <gasps> All right. So now let's look at Elliot. Little happy face. Oh my gosh. See, I'm just real thrilled with their rooting, their painting. Um, I love their matting um, because I definitely matted them the way that I love it. Nice textured. Um, I'm a definitely textured varnish kind of collector. So, um, you know, I I like that more, more of a rough, I guess. It makes me comfortable in... Um, just knowing that the, you know, they, they wear well that way. They, you know, it's, at least it's been in my experience. <laughs> so that is how I, uh, met, you know, varnish my, uh, babies. And there is a very special baby on my table right now. I'm actually up in the middle of the night like 3 a.m. something like that and I was just waiting for um paint to dry to bake and I thought you know what I'm gonna change these guys and um thought I'd make a video so where's your socks 
Oh, and Sabian has, oh my gosh, I went through heck to get these booties. I have them in blue. I had to have, I'm in the middle of like a disaster thing with a company that I've ordered from once that I was very happy with. And then I don't, I'm going to wait and see how it gets resolved because you all know, like, I don't want to get on and talk about a company like without, I'm, I'm just really not happy right now and I'm not happy with their um, customer service in how they're handling like two major issues happened and anyway I will after the resolution will share whether it's negative positive but I will definitely share but anyway um these were something that I didn't get in the order and then went nuts looking for there was a couple things actually and I got, I think, two pieces so far that were supposed to come that were not in the box. So, um, and both I had to get, um, hunt, you want to talk about clothing hunt, hunt down, um, second hand. And someone was gracious enough to let go two pieces. And if I don't think, know that they watch my channel, but if they do, you know who you are. And thank you so, so, so much. Um, so anyway, yeah, these look really, really cute on him. <laughs> yeah, they do. So, yeah, I'll have to, that'll be definitely a story, but I want to have all the information. I want to have, like, the end result for you all so I could share everything, but, and I've actually videoed, oh, God, it's funny, we, it, but it's just too, it's convoluted. There's, like, I, it's one of those Things like you just can't make this shit up if you tried. Like, it, 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 I couldn't believe how many things went wrong in one th <laughs> thing. So, anywho. Let me know in the comments below. Do you all have plans for Mother's Day? And also, let me know in the comments below. Do you feel, like, how do you feel about the, you know, the, the topic of, like, these dolls? Like, you know, just pacifying the baby fever. Um, I feel like they bring those, like, endorphins that, you know, um, make, you know, your, your ovaries sing. I don't know how to explain it, but y'all know what I mean? Like, um... For me, it's that way, just having such a ball, um, shopping for baby clothes. And when you're expecting a baby, even with painting, because of course that's like, oh my gosh, like, so, you know, putting your blood, sweat and tears in sort of thing. And then when you get towards the end, it's like a labor, you know? And f when I finally go to put the doll together, I was wondering about that because I was like, I love um sharing box openings with you all so much like it's just such a fun event I know you all enjoy my box openings and I certainly do because I'm just like a giddy kid and you know I have a whole role play thing usually in my mind when I have a baby on the way so I was wondering how I would feel um as far as painting them and them being my own like am I gonna be missing that piece of it and that thrill of it um and the which is a whole going to be a whole another subject to talk about but the addiction of the the high of of the hunt of a new baby um the waiting you know for them to ship and all that and then the the you know everything the endorphins and everything at the box opening i think it's something that a lot of us crave it is like i'm I'm saying addiction, but I'm not saying necessarily in a bad way, although it's, you know, if you get yourself in over your head or in debt, you know, which lots of us have, then, but again, that's a, that's a topic for another time. Um, but I was, you know, I was wondering, well, am I going to miss that? You know, because I know that's something that I super, super enjoy. Like I would take the day off work 
when I had a baby coming, I would put a hold at the post office to go get them in the morning so they didn't go out on the mail truck. Like I had this whole ritual and I would try to get everything done um, before the day, you know, that in the house and business wise so that I could hopefully take the, the day to enjoy the box opening and the baby's first day home and just you know, after the box opening, I'd usually be like exhausted and just take the baby and just kind of go lay down, you know, with the baby in my arms or next to me looking at it. And I don't know, like it just, oh, hold on. Is this supposed to be, yeah, these are supposed to go in the front, I think. You know what? I don't remember now. Oh yeah, those are supposed to be in the front. Here, this is for yours. This is so cute. This was this is Oscar's, but of course the little boys share it. And I thought he would look just so adorable, dressed like a little man man for some Mother's Day photos for Mama. So what do you all think? A little Elliot, you know, like I feel like stuff like this, like little man clothes, is just gonna look um super super cute on him not gonna fuss too much with his hair because i got the little paper boy hat so oh look at that look at that <laughs> is that gonna, not gonna make some cute pictures so let me see what you are all seeing let's see if we can prop his head up a little bit oh. is it yeah there we go then you're not gonna see Sabian. So I'll take you off for a minute because oh my gosh, we're already in 26 minutes. So I'm just gonna give you a quick peek. <laughs> Elliot looks so big next to Sabian, but he's really not a big baby at all. Um, but anyways, see, I'm looking at these two babies and I'm like, you know, if they came to me in a box opening, I would adore them the way that I adored them. I adore them now. In fact, I feel like I adore them more because I brought them to life, you know? So it's almost like it's a better feeling. And I, you know, I go on my like, hyper focus like painting stints where I'll just go like all day and all night you know it just hyper focusing to get a baby done and a lot of that is being excited about the thrill and the excitement I'm just trying to zoom in a little bit so you can see some of Sabian's details of his little his little pimples there excuse I just got my nails done today and they're already like ugh, dry around there because I wash my hands so many times from painting and his little milk bombs he does have some lanuga but not a ton of it because it was my first paint job oh I don't know if you could all hear that But that's his heartbeat. You know, he's got the little micro veins and capillaries over his eyelids. He's got the little blemish there. I don't know if I did a total details video, like a nice close-up. He's got the barely there eyebrows. His eyebrows are not rooted. So he has like the barely there painted eyebrows. Um... Elliot's eyebrows, I actually did a very light painting and then I did root them because I really love the rooted look. And he's a lot more fair, you know, than Sabian, but that was, you know, the point. Like I, and I tried to go like light handed um, with um, Elliot as far as, you know, color and. Uh, that sort of thing um because you know I felt like he wasn't a preemie so I wanted a more of a clean kind of you know um painting look I guess but I'm just 
so thrilled with the way these two babies turned out. And I mean, but I just went and went and went and I just wouldn't stop until I was, you know, 110% happy with them. Like, I just didn't care how long it took me. I wasn't rushing. Like, I was hyper-focusing and putting all my time in because I wanted to get them done. But in no way was I rushing. Like, I definitely was taking my sweet time as far as, like, just if I, you know, I would sit there and just, like, hold the head and the limbs in my hands for... Could, could be like an hour just looking over, deciding what's my next move, what's, uh, you know, where do I want to go, you know, that sort of thing. Like, um, I can definitely tell you that there is, I mean, my practice baby, I, well, I have a membership if you want the whole story, it's in there. Um, because I kind of went along with uh, using a hair that I knew wouldn't achieve the results that I was looking to, but it's just kind of what I needed to use at the time. It was a practice run. So I actually love the way the baby's painting came out and the rooting, I would say, came out pretty good, but not perfection, not up to my, you know, my standards of what I want in my collection. So anyway, that's why she's just like, you know, a practice baby, but, um, you know, aside from that, and if I was going to be like keeping that sculpt in my collection or, you know, perhaps, you know, sending the baby to someone else, I might want to reroute her. I don't really know, but I, it's not, I don't want to put that time and money in because I'm using, you know, per, you know, top of the line premium mohair. So anyway, um, I just moved on. So, but no baby will ever be presented, you know, to myself or to anyone else that isn't, you know, 110% to, for me, you know, because it's, I don't know. It's just, I, I'm just, I love it so much. And I just do. What? Well, yeah, of course, his hair is such a mess now because of the hat. But his rooting came out just absolutely, really, really, you know, beautifully. So, and I'm like, this is what is only my third time rooting, um, and I'm like thrilled with the result. So I'm just really happy that it's coming along to me. Not saying that it wasn't without its hitches and oh my goodness gracious, you know. It's not easy and it's a lot of work and dedication and it truly is. Let me tell you something, um, you know, this Mother's Day, message your artists and let them know how wonderful um, you think they are and how much you're enjoying as a reborn or silicone mommy their, their work, their babies, because let me tell you, this creating these babies and creating these little characters and all the love and just everything that goes in is a true labor of love so that we can be reborn mommies and daddies. <laughs> all right, everyone. Um, don't forget if you enjoyed this video to give it a thumbs up. Everyone have a wonderful Mother's Day if I do not see you before then. And God bless. Bye, aunties.